Hey what's up guys it's Ritesh here and today I'm gonna show you how to remotely control your Android phone using another Android device without root. You can use TeamViewer on Android but since it doesn't work for all devices here I will show you the universal method. For this to work you don't have to root your device but both the devices should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network or connected via Bluetooth. For this we'll be using an app called Tablet Remote. So just search for it on the Play Store and install it. Do this on both the devices, one which you want to control and the other one which you want to use as the controller. Open the app once installed on both the devices and click on the setup button. Tap on the first button and enable tablet remote in the list. Hit back and tap on the second option, select tablet remote again. Go back and tap on the connection button. Tap on the right circle if you want to connect using Bluetooth or just press on the right circle if you want to connect using Wi-Fi. Once it shows the device as Wi-Fi, click on it and it should say connected on both the devices. Hit the back button and open the remote link on the device you want to use as the remote. Go to the home screen on the other device, the one on which you just enable tablet remote as input. Now the remote interface is pretty simple. At the bottom you have the back button, home button, options and search button. Above it you have the media control buttons like play, pause, forward, next track. The arrow keys given at the center allows you to control the pointer using which you will navigate through apps and settings. At the center you have the enter key to tap on the selected button, app or setting. On left you have the volume control slider and on the right you have the slider to control the brightness level. You can navigate to apps using remote and open it. Now let me show you how you can control your media playback. Navigate to MX player, select the media which you want to play and open it. Press this button to play or pause the video. Control the volume of the video along with the brightness. You can even play the next file or forward the currently playing file. If you're not playing any video file, simply press the play button and it will play music of your default music app. You can control music the same way you did with video files. This app can prove to be very helpful if you want to control your device from a distance while it is playing some type of media on your television etc. And yeah, I guess I have covered all the functionalities that this app offers. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then don't forget to like this video. Also do remember to subscribe to my channel to get notified about my future videos such as this one. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next one. Tonight we are running on the right track.